Alright, so welcome back to the Dragon Fable free to play walkthrough. So at the end of last time we um we got through to Falcon Reach and I showed you around to the place, got used to the place because we are gonna be there a lot. So officially we are about here in the timeline. Now um just to help you guys out, if you wanna know where the timeline is, uh, just press on the book of law here and then go to the orb saga and then the timeline. Uh, so we're about here in this little gap. So next we've got the extra content, which is the what I'm making the video about. Normally, people go straight to the egg saga, um, which is what I normally do. But these bits in between, and we are going to be covering those. But first, there's one thing I forgot to mention at the end of last video. If we go to Serenity in the inn, and go to Talk, and then go to place Jester Shop. There's actually a bunch of weapons that we can get. Uh, pretty good weapons. They go up to about level 60, I think. Uh, before you start needing a dragon amulet for them. So um, you can get every weapon here up to level 60. Uh, so that's very good to know. Uh, there's also some dragon wings, apparently. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different weapon types. That we can pick up, so um, if you ever need anything like fire or dark or nature or something, you can pick something up. But right now we don't really need anything, but we will definitely come back here if we do. So that being said though, we are actually in the Undead Assault. Um, this is like a little war that took place very early on in the game. So you've arrived at Falcon Reach and to find it under attack by mysterious undead for, um, forces. Can't read. It's Dragon Fable's first war. So um, there's a cutscene at the very end. Uh, we're not, I'm not going to be watching that because I've seen it and there's no point showing you guys it. But um, we're just going to be killing all these enemies. Um, they're very weak. These guys literally have 10 HP. There's not too much to worry about. Okay, so I've cleared all these enemies out. You can sell these tickets. Um, one thing I forgot to do is we'll grab Twilly, invite him as a pet, uh, he's a very nice pet. And uh, one thing to say, this chunk here, if you are new to the game, I would 100% do it because there's a lot of stuff in this that is going to, it's basically the introduction to the content of book one in Dragon Fable. So we have Supposed Flying Fortress, if you skip this, you, you, you literally skip the introduction to the main enemy of the story. So make sure to do all this if you've never done it before. Uh, but that being said, we've done the Undead Assault. These are the cutscene that you guys can watch when um, you finish it. But to so, punch this flying fortress, sir, you've arrived to Falkirich after uh, reuniting with Trilly, Twi Twilly, the Red Moglin, and asking him where you should proceed. Um, so what we're going to do, you can read the rest of that if you want to. Um, we are going to go see Ash over here. So we'll go see Ash and then Dracolich. Follow me. And uh, tell me, this is the Subbudger's Flying Fortress section. In book one. I'm going to skip through this. So when we've done this cutscene, we can go back to Ash. And then Dracolich again. Then Wind Temple. So there's a quest here. Uh, a pretty challenging quest, I believe. I'm not too sure. Uh, 160 HP and they are resistant to stun uh, but I think they're pretty powerful these enemies so uh, maybe be careful uh, let's see really quick okay no not really they're pretty easy all right so we have got a very tough enemy here uh, 400 HP if you have a stern weapon it would be pretty good but I don't so I'm gonna war cry as per usual, it's just the the main stuff. Um, the stun resistance is 50, so that means you have 50% chance to actually stun it. So in this case, we're just going to not stun. It's better than wasting a turn, in my opinion. And um, we, have, we have got a shield, so we have got a pretty good shield. <laughs> Alright, so we've done this quest. Uh, Windsail Fragments, uh, we're just going to pass on that, I don't know, we could keep it and sell it, 
Um, you can get some weapons from that quest. So if you repeat it a bunch of times, you can actually get um, buy a weapon. Uh, we're just going to go to shop there and then go to sell. Sell this ticket, 50 gold. Nice. And then sell this, 10 gold. Appreciate. So I guess we'll just not collect those. <laughs> Uh, with that being said, so we've done the Flying Fortress, we got some pretty good story revelations to the main enemy. Uh, beyond Graham's missing daughter. So, the local pet shop in Farquaad is run by a kind old lady by the name of Grams. But it seems her granddaughter Arya has gone missing. It's time to be a hero. Okay, so, wait, we actually did teleport there, so I'll just, um show you guys in case you don't know where the pet shop is. So far creature here, uh, right, and in here is the pet shop. So Graham's a missing daughter. This is completely pointless, it's just a little side quest if you want to do it. It's pretty easy, there's just going to be some bugs in here. I believe they're quite weak. Um, yeah, pretty weak. Let's go see its damage. Um, is going to heal us even though we're at full HP. Okay, so they're very weak. Alright, so we've done the little side quest. Now, if we go to... Well, we leave. Um, heal on potions, again. Um, back to the timeline. And now we're on the Ice Dragon War. Now, this can be quite challenging. There's a pretty tough boss fight in this, but um, it should be easy enough. Uh, we could get a fire base weapon. A fire weapon and um, we did actually oh so sorry I kind of cut it there I just realized there's a very good um fire weapon here we're gonna buy this now you guys don't have to you might not need it but for the sake of the walkthrough we are gonna try and make it as easy as we possibly can so um with this uh we'll, we could use this but it's not very good anyway so kind of feels a bit stupid to use that like this does like 50% more damage anyway, so the 50% more damage to fire-based enemies is kind of pointless on that weapon. Uh, what we can do though, we can just sell this old Magma Sword. So shop, sell, Magma Sword, you have served as well, but the 15 gold is a little bit more important, <laughs> kind of. Okay, so um, we'll equip this, and we'll also get 20 back. I had to quit the game so I could revert my progress. Uh, in fact, Twilly, we'll get back to the book. Uh, Obsaga Timeline, Ice Dragon War. So, um, as you can see, we've got a battle and a fight the boss monster. The battle is just for the waves. So, I do this if you want. Uh, Fire minus 50. Very nice. We're just going to one shot everything. Um, double, one shot, yeah, so we've got some ridiculous damage. One thing that I have always learnt about this game, you should always keep one of every weapon's element type. Well, try to anyway. So we've got fire, we got um, electric, uh, energy, we've got metal. So try and keep as many types as you want, always the best idea. I never really used to do that in my original Let's Play, and I kind of learnt over time that I should have. But either way, I'm just going to finish the rest of these. And by the look of it here, this war is also very good for XP farming. It only took a minute to kill all those. So, um, it's not bad. Either way, they're healing Persians. I wish the game just healed you up after a request. It'd make a lot more sense. Don't know why it doesn't do that. We'll be there, we'll go fight the boss monster. You guys can watch the cutscene if you like, but I'm gonna skip it. So we've got a uh, Frost, uh, Dragon Master Frost Scythe, which is weak to fire by 50% weak, and um, Glaciorus, Glaciorus, <laughs> whatever his name is, is man 50 to fire. So um, what we're gonna do, um, immobility 75. Uh, but the guy's got 548 health. Now this guy's a lot less health and he has a mobility of 10. So what we're going to do, um, I'm just going to stun this guy here. 
I'm not even going to use any buffs or anything. Well, actually, I think we should. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll buff up. Well, I was thinking that we might not get the abilities back fast enough, but, um, you know, this guy's got quite a bit of health, so it might take a couple of minutes to kill him. Um, and plus, it's only four turns. And then we're just gonna double and triple this guy, and he might be dead after that. Where is my mouse? Is it just me, or do you guys sometimes just lose your mouse on the screen? For like no reason. <laughs> Either way though, that guy's down. Um, we got the big dragon which has a lot of health. Uh, we're gonna wait for this to come back so we're just gonna double. Well it would have came back if we um, used war cry and then it would have came back but um, I'm stupid and I kind of forgot. So I'll just double and triple and then we'll buff up with our shields. So, um, double, triple, and then, ow, uh, war cry, and then twilly power, and then defend, and in my opinion, the best thing to have for this is to just use your power. Wow, 125, that is very nice. <laughs> it's a very good idea we picked up this weapon, don't you think? 72, and then we'll finish him off with a double and triple. And there you go, we defeated the dragon, finished the war. Uh, if we go to the war loot, we can get some pretty cool, um, well, items. We do have to buy them, but they're very good, so, um,. Endurance 2 and Wisd- uh, Crit 1, I don't know why I said Wisdom. Endurance 2, this is going to give us 10 plus health. And then the Crit 1 is going to give us a little bit of a bigger crit chance. So for the sake of that, I am going to buy it. Um, you can buy these if you like. It depends if you've got enough gold for them. But they are very good when it comes to Endurance, so if you have this one. Yeah, five, so it's not too bad. And now we're gonna just complete the quest, keep the ticket, we can equip this new belt. So make sure to equip that. Uh, we have two tickets, uh, we are gonna go sell these really quick. Gold is very important, considering I just spent all mine on that weapon, which was no regrets, definitely. Because that weapon really helped a lot. Uh, either way though, if we go back to the timeline and the Orb Saga, we have finished everything in this uh, sort of pre, pre egg Saga content. I can't speak, I don't know what's the matter with me. <laughs> pre egg Saga content is now finished. So next time we're going to be starting the Rabina and the uh, Black Dragon Box stuff, uh, which are going to be really fun. Either way, thank you for watching. I will see you on the next part. Bye bye.